In this video, I'll break down how to add these really cool Super 8mm film effects to your video. So that's those really cool like sprocket effects or those really cool like film burn transitions. Now, the ones that I'll be using are from Cinepax. There's a link down in the description below if you want to go ahead and purchase them for yourself. But just give you a basic overview of how to use this really cool Super 8mm film pack. So as you can see, here are a couple examples. Here's one example and then a film burn and then another really cool like a Super 8mm of film overlay. So this is just kind of basically what I'm gonna go ahead and recreate in this video. Now the first thing you want to do in order to create these really cool like film effects is you want to kind of give it that really cool like film color. So if we head over here to the effects panel and I go ahead and, and scroll down to all and I'll go under the search panel I'll go ahead and just type in LUT. What you want to do is you want to apply the custom LUT effect on the clip just click on custom LUT. Now what you want to do is you want to basically import a LUT. So you go ahead over here to none, go over here to and click on choose custom LUT and then obviously figure out where you have it saved and then just import it. So this is how you would import a custom LUT. Just go, click on choose custom LUT and it will just be, basically allow you to select different LUT files and then make sure you import them as Rec 709 files. And the most important thing too is that LUTs are .cube files. So if it's, dot, so if it's not a .cube file, it's not going to actually import or register as a LUT. So if I head over here to none, go over here, so you can see I have all the Cinepak LUTs and I have Ryan Nagel LUTs. So when you, when you go ahead and purchase a Super 8mm film pack, it'll come with a total of seven um, different uh, film LUTs. Let's go ahead and select on film four. And as you can see right there, you have a really cool like film look. And there again, there are a total of seven film LUTs. Now what you want to do is you want to add a little bit of grain to your actual footage. That way it doesn't look so digital. It looks a little more vintage. So let's go ahead and select on this screen. So you have have this screen and this screen. Now if you're wondering how to import these or put these into Final Cut, they're not plugins, they're not presets, they're just overlays. So all you want to do is click on Command I and then you just want to locate where you have them saved. For example, I had them saved on a Samsung T7 hard drive. Again, these are just overlays, they're not plugins or presets. If I go over here to Editing Assets where I have all of my editing assets, scroll down to Cinepax and as you can see, so if I scroll right here to Cinepax, here are all the, they have a whole bunch of other ones, 60 mm dirty mat film uh, film scratch you have a whole bunch of really cool film um, kind of like film packs but if we head down here to super 8 uh, super 8 film effect as you can see they have a whole bunch of really cool stuff film burn frames grain lots sounds and uh, stills they have a whole bunch of really cool stuff you can just select on the folder or you can open up the folder and let's say you want to use like a video frame you want to select on this one so just select on the folder or the, the clips you want to use and then scroll over here and click on import selected and then we'll just import into final cut like you would a normal clip or a video. So once you have the grain overlays and the film overlays you want to use import into Final Cut, let's go ahead and select one of them. So I take the grain overlay and place it on top of the clip. I'm going to go ahead and just simply head over here and just option um, right bracket to trim it. Now if we head over here to the overlay, what you want to do is you want to go to blend mode and you want to change the blend mode to overlay. That way you'll have a really nice grain on top of your before and then after. Just very subtle, but it, it's going to look a lot better when you add a little bit of grain because you're trying to make this you know as less digital as you possibly can and you want to look like it actually came out of a real film camera. So if we scroll down and find the one we want to use, let's say you want to use this film sprocket. You just want to place it on top of your clip right here and then we're going to go ahead and just simply um, trim the uh, clip just so it, I'll trim the overlay so it fits the clip. Now what you want to do is you want to select on this overlay, go to blend mode and you want to change the blend mode to multiply. That way you can actually see the video below it. And there you go. That's basically the, the, the fundamentals to using these really cool overlay. Now if you're looking at the overlay, you can see, you see a little of these black lines and it doesn't quite look good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select on this. We're going to head over here to the crop and let's just crop the top a little bit to something like this and crop the bottom a little over here. That way we can actually kind of like see those black lines. Now we'll go ahead and let's duplicate this clip two more times. All you're doing is you're holding down the option key to duplicate the clip. Now let's move the position up as you can see. Let's go to the bottom one and let's just slide this position over. That way there's a little bit of that dividing line and it looks a little bit better. And there you go as you can see already that looks a lot better. And that's pretty much you know pretty much how you use these really cool film overlays. Now the steps will be different for kind of the different ones you use, but that is 
just a basic idea of how to use these really cool super 8 millimeter um, film overlays. Now another thing you want to do is you might want to add some film burns. So let's go ahead and select on this one, uh, on this film burn. Go ahead and place it on top of your clip. Now what you want to do is you want to go frame by frame until as you can see the light completely covers the screen. Press M on your keyboard to create a marker and then just place that point in between the two clips. You're basically just finding the brightest part of the clip. And then selecting this clip right here, go to blend mode, change the blend mode to screen that way you can see the clips actually behind the film overlay so if you go ahead and play it as you can see now you have this really cool film burn and that transitions into the next clip let's say we want to use another really cool overlay let's go ahead and select on this one place this on top of the clip right here just like so and then you want to go ahead and just trim the overlay to the duration of the clip and as you can see now we can go ahead go to blend mode and you can of course mess with all the different blend modes but in this case let's go to screen and as you can see there we go now you have this really cool overlay on top of this clip just simple as that you're just basically placing these overlays these grain overlays on top of your clip and you're basically just messing with the different blend modes in most cases so if I go over here let's go to blend mode if the background is black usually screen is the best um, blend mode but again if the background is white then I would go ahead and select multiply in most cases multiply or screen are the best blend modes to use so if i go ahead and play the finished product this is what it looks like you create these really cool like eight millimeter film effects with some luts and some grain it just makes it look a little less digital it actually looks like it was filmed on an old um, super eight millimeter film camera and there you go just as simple as that so you can go ahead and take those steps and apply it to the different um, clips you have this is just an example but i just want to give you the basic idea of how to use these really cool overlays remember Again, these are overlays, they're not plugins, and they're not uh, presets, which means you can use these in any editing program you want. As long as you can, you know, change the blend mode, they should work in any editing program. And that's how you use this really cool Super 8mm film pack from Cinepax. The link is down in the description below. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're looking for some really cool Final Cut Pro plugins, presets, and overlays, definitely go ahead and check out my digital store. The link is down in the description below. So if you want to kind of like add some really cool Final Cut extensions or some really cool overlays and transitions, I have a whole bunch of really cool stuff on my store. Again, link is down in the description below. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Peace.